It's a faulty LED neon style melon slice. This was sent in by Andy a while ago, and he said, well, let me show you this. Let me show you it in the dark where you can actually see the problem. So as you can see, the illumination goes up to here and then it's dead from this point. And Andy said, if you squeeze that area, it does kind of light up. So it would be interesting to actually open this area and see what's actually gone wrong. Watch your eyes. The light is coming back right now. So we have some options here. I shall unplug this. It's just a low voltage power supply, about 4.5 volts. And the construction of this is such that it has plexiglass, plastic, acrylic, whatever you want to call it, uh, with a channel routed into it and then the LED neon type stuff laid in. And the options we have here is that because this strip is at the end of the circuit, it loops into the outer green and then to the pink. Because of that, we could actually take another couple of wires out of here and we could go into the end of this stuff. Is this going to come out easily? It does come out easily. Well, that's nice. That's easier than expected. So we could actually just uh, loop some wires out of here and tuck them into here and feed it from the other end. The other option, we could change the whole strip completely. What size is this strip? Let me just grab a pair of calipers and uh, check that. The size is eight millimeters, which is quite thick. A lot of this stuff is six millimeters, so maybe a wee bit harder to get replacement for that. But there's the LED tape, and there's where we could just solder some connections on. The other option we have is to actually find the faulty bit, and I should have marked this first, put a mark in it, and then slit it open. Well, let's plug it in. So here is the faulty area here. Let me put a little dot on that while it flickers on and off intermittently, so it's there. And what we could do, we could slice this and just see what's gone wrong. Because there's a possibility, now let me just check, the LED tape is on that side, so we could just slit in. I've got a very sharp knife here. A brand new blade in it, which is just bad news for fingers. And we could just cut a little hatch Let's cut a wider hatch. Let's uh, give ourselves options here. And we'll make a little slit here and here. What's the bet that because of the way they make this tape, there is probably going to be some sort of joint. I'm just going to check up the end of this again. Well, the LED tape is angled in. That means I'm going to have to slit it about here. Watch me slip right through it and make it so much worse than it was before. I should zoom down this, shouldn't I? I should. Let's zoom down it so you can watch me butchering this. Is this going to get us in? Am I just going to shred this completely? Yes. Am I bothered? Not really super much. No. This is sacrificing itself for the greater knowledge. All oh, right. Okay. Right. Okay. Well, let me just show you this. Focus on that. Focus. That happens to be where they've joined two sections together. Look, they've actually got resistor pair LED. That's good. Um, so by just soldering these, we can perhaps fix it. Uh, I'm going to put the soldering iron on. One moment, please. The soldering iron is now up to temperature. Let's zoom down onto this and see if I can give you a close-up of... What will hopefully be the repair, unless our tracks physically detach. So I'm going to grab the soldier and I'm going to strategically aim it into that, that joint and hold it back, this little flat back with my, with my other finger and reflow these joints. One year we had loads of Indian props which used LED tape like this and they were so problematic because Everywhere there was a joint, it uh, was very prone to failure. They make this uh, LED tape. I just heard the LED tape move. Blob that off, which is annoying, because this is effectively two bits of tape coming up here. Oh, blob, go on, blob, blob across, solder. No, I've blobbed across between positive and negative. That's not going to work. Well, actually, that tape is, it's actually moved. It's, hmm, uh, tricky. I may have to put a little wire bridge in this. 
I could go from across the two pads here. Can you see this, that as it's flexed round, the two are very loose and not quite going together? Oh, I'm going to have to put this in a vice, I think, to actually clamp it together. One moment, please. Uh, this is not being made easy, but the fact that LED tape slides backwards and forwards in this, which makes it very easy to actually do the initial soldering of it because you can theoretically slide the LED tape out for soldering the wires onto it and then slide it back in again. I think that's what they've done. Have we got a bridge? Have we got a bridge here? I'll give it a second to cool down this time. The moral of the story also being here that uh, only heat one sort of connection at a time. If you heat both at once, the tape will part. We do still have the option of jumping between these copper pads though. But let's squish this down and power it up and see if it lights. It is lighting evenly now and it's staying lit. Right, tell you what, what's the chance of me getting this back into the frame easily? Right, tell you what, I'm just going to shuffle stuff on the bench. One moment, please. Right, I'm going to try and put this back in. I notice the LED is now popping out the end here. Annoying. But I'm going to try and squish this in. Friction fit. And I'll just, because that's where the curve is already, I shall pop that in there. What's the bet that as I squeeze it back in, that solder connection, that solder bridge breaks apart? It is where this stuff's very prone to failing. They make it in 500 millimeter lengths, this, the LED tape. So if you buy a five meter roll, what you're actually getting is 10 500 millimeter sections that are just kind of stuck together. And they're soldered together with that little solder bridge. And it can cause problems. It's the weakest point in the tape. Yeah, someone in the factory has very, very nimble fingers. Ugh. I thought it'd be guiding itself in, but it's not. It's a bit squishy. It's a tight fit, probably so they don't have to worry too much about the glue holding it in place. So if I massage this down, this is where I'm putting stress on the repair, making sure the the squished plastic goes in because it's now squished and is not probably one to go in. I shall use the spudger to poke it in. The blunt end of the spudger apparently because that's just the end that came to hand. Okay. Oh, the whole lot's needing... It's all wanting to splay out. People work in factories just making these all day long. It must be a very labour-intensive process, but I suppose, ultimately, because they're used to it, uh, they'll get quite quick at it. It's such a tight fit that the plastic is actually peeling off against the sharp edge of the plastic. This is where, in the factory, I'd, I'd skid and I'd leave a big skid mark right across the... Uh, right across the Melanie bit. The printed artwork. That looks like it. So now I'll turn it up the other way so it looks happy and smiley. There is a pink LED sticking out then there but it doesn't really matter too much. It's also coming right up to the end here so that's just because as you flex this stuff the LEDs kind of like move against a bit like the uh, 3D filament tends to move inside the Bowden tube. Right tell you what is that it fixed? Yes, it is. That's a pretty good repair. You're never going to uh, get rid of that sort of sharp cut-off point because it is the sharp ends. But there we have it. Uh, watch your eyes, the light is coming back. The neon ornament is now repaired and it was done in line as opposed to just connecting to the other end, which it turns out would have been fairly easy. Um, they have. They didn't slide the LED tape out to actually terminate it. You can see the slit on the other side of that where they slit it, peeled it back and then sewed it on. But there we have it. It's a repair. It's a good one. The job is done. The melon is now completely 100% active again.